Now, the official Suncoast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. This is a nice way to wake up in the morning, huh? Our tower camp shot showing a beautiful sunrise. A lot of blue sky out there this morning. Contrast that to the storminess we had yesterday, and it's just a really, really nice way to start the morning. I think as we head into the afternoon, we'll probably see a few of these around. This picture of sunset lighting sent in to us by Randy Blast. Appreciate that, Randy. Sent in on our Facebook page. And uh, certainly a very nice shot of a lot of lightning associated with one particular storm system that moved through late in the evening and uh, into the uh, early after dark hours. Those showers and thunderstorms were really kind of fueled by the daytime heat, which hit 94 degrees and accompanied by a little bit of moisture that we had in our atmosphere. Now today, it's kind of a different story. We have some drier air that's moved in, and that should limit the number of storms that we get today. We'll still see a few, but there will be less in number than we saw yesterday. 75 degrees, the air temperature. Dew point is at 72. We have that east wind still at about 6, and that east wind is visible, actually, on some of our satellite imagery. You can see some of those showers that are kind of on a uh, east to west journey across the Florida Keys where there is a little bit more moisture. But through central Florida, we've had some drier air moving in central and north Florida, and it's really just eliminated a lot of the rainfall chance today. We're down to about 20 or 30 percent rainfall chance. You can see that dry air here on the water vapor imagery indicated by this tan colorization, that tan contour, an indication of a, a kind of stability that that dry air will offer in mid-levels of the atmosphere. Still, it's summer, and we'll have sea breezes, which are driving mechanisms for shower thunderstorm production. So a few showers will overcome that dry air aloft, and we will get a couple of showers around today. A general southeasterly wind flow will keep our sea breeze pretty close to the coast, so a lot of us are going to bake this afternoon, especially without those cooling showers. We'll see temperatures once again today that will be in the low 90s. With that high pressure ridge where it is, and that's pretty much where it's going to stay over the next several days, what we'll wait for is a return of moisture to our atmosphere to boost up our rain chances once again. And that'll come by the weekend. So for today, smaller rain chances, a warm afternoon, We'll wait for the moisture to return, which will provide us with more rain shower activity by the weekend. Those are the weather highlights that carry you through the next several days. Rainfall futurecast shows those showers kind of hugging the coastline, the few that we get today, hugging the coastline because of that southeast wind really driving that sea breeze close to the coast. Then tomorrow, with a little bit more moisture around, I think it'll be easier to start the shower activity, and we'll get a few more showers in inland areas. But the general motion of those storms will still be the same from inland to coast. So everybody tomorrow, I think, gets a better chance of seeing some rainfall around. Number four, tropical depression, number four, fourth of the season, still a long distance away from the state of Florida, and we have lots of time to watch it. But hurricane tracks right now continue it on a general direction to the uh, west or northwest, and uh, probably don't let it live very long before drier air starts to really degrade the system. So whether it becomes dawn or not, still kind of up in the question. We'll look for uh, that system to remain as at least a tropical depression, though, or maybe a low-end tropical storm for about uh, two days, and then we'll start to watch it fall apart. Look for a 50% chance of showers by the weekend with daytime highs in the 90s.